Hi everyone, I'm Ali. Welcome to 5,000 Years. A Chinese period drama caught my attention recently. It's called The Longest Day in Chang'an. It's very popular right now. The whole drama is about what happened in Chang'an during a 24-hour time frame. I thought this was an interesting premise and it made me think about how people kept time in ancient China. For example, we see the Sang Dao scene a lot, which tells you what time it is in the story. So how does this thing work? The ancient people use the same timekeeping system as today? In this video, let's take a look at what are some of the ways that ancient Chinese people kept time before the invention of clocks and watches. There were three types of devices that common people used to tell time. The first one is the Sang Dao. The world's oldest Sang Dao is from Egypt in 1500 BC, and the earliest written record from China was from the Book of Han in 82 AD. The Sang Daos in China are usually marked in 12 sections. Each one is called Wan Shi Chen, which roughly equals to 2 hours in today's time. According to Du Yu's commentary of Zuo Zhuan, each Shi Chen had a unique name that described the activities people would do during that time. The first Shi Chen starts at 11 p.m. and ends at 1 a.m. and it's called Ye Ban, which means midnight. Then it's Ji Ming, meaning rooster crowing. Ping Dan, daybreak. Ri Chu, sunrise. Shi Shi, meal time. Ancient Chinese people, especially commoners, only ate two meals per day, so this is when they would eat their first meal. Yu Zhong, approaching noon. Ri Zhong, midday. Ri Die, sun decline. Bu Shi, dinner time. This is when people would eat their second and last meal of the day. Ri Ru, sunset. Huang Hun, dusk. Ren Ding, settling down. There were other names associated with each Shi Chen, but they were more or less similar in meaning. During the Han Dynasty, Shi Chen were giving names from the 12 earthly branches, which was an ancient watering system. The 12 Shi Chen were then renamed to Zi Shi, Chou Shi, Yin Shi, Mao Shi, Chen Shi, Si Shi, Wu Shi, Wei Shi, Shen Shi, You Shi, Xu Shi, and Hai Shi. These became the most commonly used terms for the later dynasties until the last dynasty. By the Song dynasty, each Shi Chen was further divided into two sections, with the first half called Chu or the initial hour, and the second half called Zheng or the central hour. People called the new half Shi Chen Xiao Shi, which literally means small hour to differentiate it from the old Shi Chen. And to this day, hours are still called Xiao Shi in China. Other than the sun dials, which can't work without the sun, Chinese people also used another type of timekeeping device called Ke Lo. According to the Book of Sui, the Yellow Emperor invented this method of dripping water through a device and observing the markings to tell time. This was more than 4,000 years ago, and since then, every dynasty improved upon it to make the timekeeping device more accurate. Other substances such as mercury and sand were also used in place of water. The ke in ke lo literally means mark or engraving. People divided a day's time into 100 sections and made 100 markings on the water clock. And one one hundredth of a day is therefore called one ke. This 100 ke system was used even before the 12 Shi Chen system was developed. But the problem was, 100 can't be divided by 12 in whole, making it difficult to keep track with the two systems at the same time. So it was briefly adjusted to 120 ke, 96 ke, and 108 ke during history. Not until the late Ming and early Qing dynasty, the 100 ke was finally changed to 96 ke to match the Western hour system. When it's converted to our time today, one ke equals to 15 minutes. And that's why Chinese people use yi ke or one ke to say 15 minutes. Other than shi chen and ke, night time in China had its own timekeeping system as well. When it's called jing, there are five jing per night. Each one is two hours long, the same length as shi chen. It starts at xu shi and ends at yin shi. Each jing can be further divided into five dian, so each dian is 24 minutes. 
For example, Chinese emperors usually start their morning meetings at Wu Jing San Dian. Wu means five, and San means three. So Wu Jing is three a.m. and San Dian is seventy-two minutes. So therefore, Wu Jing San Dian means four twelve a.m. That's how early emperors and officials started working in ancient China. There was another type of timekeeping device that used burning incense as measurements. The longest day in Chang'an showed a replica of an ancient fire clock. As the incense was burning shorter and shorter, metal balls were dropped to signal the passing of time, until a full shichen had passed. Incenses were molded into different thickness, lengths, and shapes to fit people's need. The one I have at home was burning for about two hours long. There were ancient records about incense lasting as long as a few days and even a whole month. So to recap, we talked about the sun clock, water clock, and fire clocks, but everything we mentioned today were mostly used for timekeeping within the day. Ancient Chinese people also had their own systems for weeks, months, and years, and the telescoping instruments they used were extremely advanced and intricate. I'll be talking about that in another video, so don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. Also, check out my channel for more videos on traditional Chinese culture and values, as well as Chinese fashion and history. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.